Hi everybody, this is Natalie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I cooked some chicken wings using convection on my Blue Star Platinum and they are phenomenal. I have my own little recipe I do. I know a lot of people might use, um, they uh, toss them in baking powder, but I don't do that. Um, these are perfect. So you can see how they, how nicely they turned out. These cook for a total of 25 minutes. I turn them twice, one time just to get the other side and the other time just for basting the other side towards the end. Um, wonderful recipe. I will include that down at the bottom of the video. So here are, here's what Blue Star recommends for convection. So you need to decrease your temperature between 25 and 50 degrees. These were cooked at 425. You also should not cook below 150 Fahrenheit or above 500 Fahrenheit with the convection. You also need to preheat your oven to temperature before you use convection. But I love, I, that's one of my favorite features of this other than the um, simmer burner. <laughs> so, but my favorite dish to cook with convection on Blue Star would be a roast chicken. I use a beer can roaster. Oh, it is phenomenal. Such a juicy, crispy chicken. Really, really nice. Another thing I like to do with the convection is to finish off dishes, casserole dishes. So um, whether it's lasagna or if I have a flan parisienne that I love to cook, that's one of our favorite things, favorite desserts in this house. And for that dish, you need to get the top round and that does a fantastic job of evenly uh, distributing the heat over the uh, top of the tart. So experiment with it and see, uh, see what works best for you. But meats are definitely uh, one of my favorite things to use convection on. I had posted a video earlier about convection, but after speaking with a friend, I realized I needed to go back to the drawing board and add a few things. Um, first of all, her experience with convection was not very good. It's, she doesn't have a blue star range, but her problem was that it wasn't um, producing the results that a, a typical convection should produce. It's a common um, thing with her brand that she has that needs calibrating. So, um, Hopefully she can get the full use of her convection, but that brought us to a second topic and or a second question and that is Once you bring your oven to temperature does convection keep it at that temperature or Does it increase the temperature? So my understanding is is that it keeps it at the same temperature It's just that you have that temperature from all the way around the item that you're baking so it bakes from the outside in in a shorter amount of time because uh, otherwise it would take longer because you have um, different hot and cold pockets in your oven. So this is what Blue Star has on their um, instruction booklet for convection. So if you have the pow power burner, which I do have, the POW capital R in the Blue Star Platinum, it takes eight minutes for the sensor in the oven to reach the temperature and then another, another 20 minutes for the rest of the oven to um, come to that temperature before you start convection. So I set my temperature at 325 and um, it's been about 30 minutes actually because I've been talking here. So let's see, the bottom one is at 325, that's good. And the top one is also at 325, so there you go. That's good to know. So um, it's safe to say that the Blue Star will have an even temperature throughout, at least if you're cooking on the bottom and middle racks using convection. Okay, I just wanted to go over some of the cooking pans I use in my Blue Star and how some of these may work with convection. So this is the, the uh, baking sheet that goes directly into the rack rails. So I can take the, the rack itself out and put this, put this in the rails, if it's nicely. And this is your typical regular baking sheet. So this is my um, beer can roaster that I use for roasting chickens. It's the absolute best way to do a chicken if you're wondering. Also another good thing about this um, baking sheet here is that you can fit, the, fit two of these cookie sheets in here side by side. So. Okay, so how I do my um, 
how I did my chicken wings. I did it like this, just to make sure that I got the air underneath, underneath the um, chicken wings. So I laid them out here. So this is the optimal way to do chicken wings. You can see that there's plenty of opportunity for air to get underneath if you're using convection. And um, anyway, also if you are cooking with, like I say, with lasagnas or something or baking, this will cook from the outside in. So you'll have the same temperature throughout. And that's why it cooks faster, not because the temperature is higher. Now I understand that's maybe different, so. Um, if you have a uh, different brand, please share your experience with convection and how, how that works for you and any tips that you might have. All right. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to go eat now. These are fantastic.